Kingfisher House is our take on a high quality, sustainable home which embraces the entire site, looks beyond the boundaries of the building, looks at how to best use the land that their clients are the custodians of. This is either a very substantial renovation or a new build, depending on how you look at it. There was termite damage. Any of the existing fabric of the home that we could reuse, we have. The original home on the site is a substantial size. The client didn't need that much space, so the home is now two separate pavilions connected by a roofed courtyard. The original house had the garage on the northeast corner where the morning sun rises, so it's the worst place to put the cars. The site was crisscrossed by three separate driveways and they were all retained, so you couldn't actually walk across the site. There's only one small driveway now to the garage, which is below a terrace, so that it's invisible from the home. The design's less about cars and more about people. It's a house in a landscape, it's not a house surrounded by driveway. We've brought landscape into the courtyard and a pond which wraps from inside to out. The entry will be a bridge that comes across between the pond and the landscape, and that links the terrace out the front with the pool behind the home. So it was a way to connect the site through the home itself. The roof to the courtyard's been replaced with a polycarbonate roof, so that allows more light into that space and to the other pavilions in the home, as well as allowing heat in in winter. In summer, we've got operable louvers, which will shut under the polycarbonate to block the summer sun. In addition to that, we've got a mechanical ventilation system which can draw heat from the living spaces inside the home and the courtyard and expel them from the space. So everyone has a different take on what sustainability is. It's about more than just technology. We try to address the overall land use. Although we're designing for the client who lives here now, over time it might be used by different groups of people. A group of friends or an ageing mum and dad, adult kids who don't want to leave home. So we've taken both power but also plumbing to the loft spaces so the bathrooms could be added over time so that each side of the home could be a two bedroom home. There's also an original granny flat that's being upgraded to a home office but that has a bathroom and a kitchenette in it as well so that's effectively the potential for a third dwelling. So that greater density improves the sustainability of the home because it means that the materials, the energy, everything that goes into the home serves more people. One of the key sustainability aspects the client was keen on and we support them in is doing a carbon audit. That's not just the materials used in the construction, it's the energy used in the house to heat their water, heat their pool, air condition the home. The house has performed really well from a design perspective. It then depends how the site is used, how the house is used. In the future, if people wanted to use it for four or six or eight people, the house could cater for that and that's a more sustainable outcome the carbon per person is less. The way we approach every project is to do a master plan over the whole site to look at what the potential of the site is. Not in terms of maximising a built area, but what the site itself could be. The client's paired with a landscape designer and so they're helping to revegetate. The site has a creek frontage. The bushland has koalas, other wildlife there. So they're trying to enhance that and bring that back towards the house. So the house feels more connected to the creek. So on a quite suburban block, there's a sense that you're in your own little world. <laughs>